In this video, you will learn how to configure redundant internet connections with Failover. First, you'll create a WAN link interface that provides your 48 unit with redundant internet connections from two internet service providers, or ISPs. The WAN link interface combines these two connections into a single interface. While there are a number of load balancing algorithms available, this example includes weighted load balancing so that most of your internet traffic is handled by one ISP. WAN 1 will handle 75% of the traffic, and WAN 2 will handle 25%. Connect your ISP devices to your FortiGate so that the ISP that will be handling a larger volume of traffic is connected to WAN 1, and the secondary ISP is connected to WAN 2. If your device doesn't have these ports available, Choose appropriate port alternatives. You will not be able to add an interface to the WAN link interface if it's already in use in the FortiGates configuration. To create the link, you must delete any security policies or routes that refer to the interfaces that are members of the WAN link. Many FortiGate models include a default internet access policy that uses WAN 1, so first, go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and delete any policies that use WAN1 or WAN2. Then go to Network, Static Routes, and delete any routes that use the interface members. You should also remove any references to these ports in other areas you can find, such as Interface Field for Address Objects, so that they do not cause unpredictable behavior. Next, go to Network, WAN LLB, or WAN Link Load Balancing. Set the interface state to Enable. Under WAN LLB, select Create New to add an interface. Add WAN 1 and enter the gateway IP provided by your primary ISP. Do the same for WAN 2, but this time use the gateway IP provided by your secondary ISP. The primary interface is usually first in the sequence. Under Load Balancing Algorithm, select Volume as the Type. This will allow you to prioritize the WAN 1 interface so that more traffic uses it. For the weight, set WAN 1 to 3 and set WAN 2 to 1. These weight settings will cause 75% of the traffic to use the primary ISP, with the remaining 25% using the secondary ISP. To help analyze the effectiveness of the algorithm selected, the WAN links usage graph shows you the volume and bandwidth usage. Go to Network, WAN Status Check, and configure a health check to verify the health and status of the links that make up the virtual WAN link. In this example, we're going to name the status check Check Against Google DNS, since it's an external destination that both interfaces can always reach by pinging 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. protocol to ping and enter an external server IP address. Leave the default settings for the link status and select OK. You can see that both WAN link interfaces are active, and you can test the health check later by temporarily disabling WAN 1 or WAN 2. Next, go to Network, Static, Routes, and create a new default route. Set destination to subnet and enter the following. Set device to the WAN link interface. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and create a new policy. Set Incoming Interface to your Internal Network's interface, and set Outgoing Interface to the WAN Link Interface. Set Source to All, Destination Address to All, Schedule to Always, Service to All, Action to Accept, and Turn on NAT. For logging options, turn on Log Allowed Traffic and select All Sessions. Browse the internet using a computer on the internal network and then go to 40 View All Sessions. 
Make sure that the destination interface column is shown. If it's not, right-click on the top menu row to add it. The log shows traffic flowing through both WAN 1 and WAN 2. To make sure failover is working, go to Network, Interfaces, and disable the WAN 1 port. Then browse the internet from the internal network. Now go back to 40 View, All Sessions, and the results should show that the traffic is only flowing through WAN 2 until you enable WAN 1 again. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. You can also see a text version of this video on the Fortinet Cookbook website.